Now, remote villages in Afghanistan continue to grapple with several issues as those affected by the deadly earthquake are struggling to survive, even though aid is now beginning to slowly trickle through these devastated areas. There are many people, thousands of them, who have little access to food and water. <laughs> The people attended the Friday prayers and donations were collected in Kandahar. The country's deadliest earthquake in more than two decades has killed more than a thousand people and has left thousands of others homeless. But the after effects of the earthquake have killed at least about f five people in eastern Afghanistan. The tremors shook areas close to the epicenter of Wednesday's 5.9 magnitude earthquake. The extent of the devastation caused by the earthquake is huge. And Afghanistan's acting Minister of Health, Khalander Ibad, has said that almost about 90% of the houses in Gayan in the eastern province of Paktika have been destroyed. He further added that most of those that remained standing were simply not fit for living. The officials say that nearly about 10,000 homes have been destroyed in this earthquake, an alarming number in an area where the average household size is said to be that of 20 people. The footage shows that many of the victims in Jordan, the earthquake in the Paktika province were being transferred by helicopters to hospitals in neighboring provinces, most of whom are women and children. درینه پر تقریبا زخمیان لرو او دغه سان کې موبل کور ده نه د برنه باندې بس لرو نه د شپې باندې بس لرو نه د خوراکي باندې بس لرو ټول کسان داسې ناست تغذیه کې the footage shows residents of the village starting to rebuild their houses but the efforts are being slowed back by lack of material afghans are also raising concerns with the cost of construction materials and have flagged availability issues, even though the international community has stepped up in sending much-needed relief to the devastated region. India has also pledged its assistance to Afghanistan at the United Nations meeting and has already sent its first consignment of relief assistance to Kabul. According to reports, the United Nations World Food Programme aid also arrived in the village of Vukai and has been distributed to those who have been impacted. The aid includes emergency rations, tents and also other relief materials. Two doctors without borders, trucks also arrived with medical supplies in the region. The quake has struck the rugged east of Afghanistan the hardest. Here people live in very small settlements on the arid mountains. The earthquake has also triggered mudslides, blocking mountain roads, telephone towers and power lines were downed making it extremely hard to get information off from the ground. Officials have warned that the toll could in fact rise further. In some districts, entire villages have been levelled. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.